Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 challenge of the month. And today we'll be creating the challenge for October. For those who are not yet familiar with our monthly challenge, this challenge is open to all students and educators worldwide. Now the goal for this challenge is to make us familiar with parametric part modeling and assembly modeling. Now, it's easy to join the monthly challenge. All you have to do is forward your full name and your school name and your email for us to invite you and to create your project folder. And in that project folder, you have to save all your monthly challenge files. Now this challenge will end in January and everyone is still free to catch up to do the other past challenges. Now for those who have difficulty creating the challenge, we have a YouTube channel to aid everyone in creating the monthly challenges. Again, once more, feel free to catch up and join us. And now let's create the challenge for October. So let's get started. I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to grab our circle. And now we are prompted to select a plane. I'm going to select our XY plane. So left click here. Now the diameter of this circle is 20. I'm going to left click here and type in 20, hitting enter. Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension, selecting our center point and our origin. I'm going to drop our dimension here, left click. The value for this one is 50, hitting enter. Next, I'm going to select our center point, or better yet, our origin and our center point. Moving up, left click here and key in 100. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to stop sketch and hit S, grabbing our model toolbox and type RE, grabbing our revolve tool. Now we are prompted to select a profile, selecting our circular profile. Left click to activate axis and selecting our vertical Y axis. Now the angle to be 360 degrees operation new body and hit OK. Let's now create the cylinder at the center. I'm gonna hit C to grab our circle and select our XZ plane. Left click. Dropping our center point at the origin. Now the diameter for our cylinder is 30. Hitting enter and hitting E to grab our extrude tool Selecting our circular profile, grabbing our blue arrow up, and I'm going to key in 40 for the height, operation, new body, and hit OK. Next, I'm going to select this edge, right click, and select fillet. Now, our fillet radius to be 5, and hit OK. Next, I'm going to go to our home view and select our XY plane. Right click, selecting create sketch. Now on our sketch palette, I'm going to tick slice and hit L grabbing our line tool. I'm going to drop our first point here and hold our left mouse button to create an arc. Release. And hold our left mouse button again, creating an arc, a release, and left click here, hitting escape. Next, let's add tangent constraints between this line and this arc. I'm going to go to constraints, selecting tangent, selecting this line and this arc, this line and this arc, hitting escape, selecting this line, right click, selecting horizontal vertical. Next, I'm going to hit D to grab our dimension, selecting this arc. I'm going to drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 17.5, hitting enter. 
hitting escape to disable dimension selecting this arc and this arc right click and selecting equal next I'm gonna go to constraints once more selecting horizontal vertical selecting this endpoint and our origin aligning them vertically selecting this line hitting escape I'm gonna hit undo hitting D once more selecting this line drop our dimension here I'm gonna key in 35 hitting enter selecting this line drop our dimension here keying in 25 hitting enter hitting escape next i'm going to go to sketch and under project include i'm going to select intersect now for the geometry i'm going to select our torus left click so it now projected the profile of our torus so we now have the center point i'm going to hit ok and go to constraints select coincident selecting this endpoint and our center point hitting escape left click and trying to move our entities to check this one moved up meaning we need to add a vertical dimension or constraint i'm going to hit ctrl z Hitting D, grabbing our dimension, selecting this point and our origin. Drop our dimension here, left click, keying in 25, hitting enter. Hitting escape and inspecting. So it's now fully constrained. I can go to stop sketch and go to home view. I'm going to hit L to grab our line and select this plane, left click, and rotate and select slice going to left view zooming in we're going to create the entity right now so left click left click and hold to create a arc release and left click and left click here to make this as a closed profile hitting escape Selecting this arc and this line, right click and select tangent. Next, hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this vertical line and this vertical line, drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 13. Hitting enter. Hitting escape and I'd like to move this entity here so we have a better view. I'm going to hit S and type PO and grab our point tool I'm going to drop our point here at the midpoint hitting escape next hitting D once more to grab our dimension selecting this point and this horizontal line drop our dimension here I'm going to key in 18 hitting enter hitting escape moving this one here next I'm gonna hit S once more and type PO grabbing our point tool left click here hitting escape going to constraints selecting horizontal vertical selecting our center point and this point aligning them vertically hitting D to grab our dimension selecting this point and our horizontal line drop our dimension here i'm going to key in nine hitting enter hitting escape and rotating next i'm going to hit p to grab our project tool and select this point left click hitting ok so we now have a projection of this endpoint i can now go to constraints select coincident selecting this point and this projected point left click hitting escape and inspecting our profile so from here i can now go to stop sketch go to create and under create i'm going to select sweep for the profile selecting this profile left click so one selected left click path to activate 
and selecting this entity so left click now the operation to be join orientation perpendicular type is single path and finally hit OK I'm gonna go to our origin and turn off the visibility of our axis and planes going to home view and now hitting S grabbing our model toolbox typing P A T T and grabbing our circular pattern for the object we're going to select this feature which is sweep 1 but first I'm gonna go to pattern type selecting pattern features and now selecting sweep 1 left click to activate our axis and selecting our Y axis now for the quantity I'm gonna type in 4 compute option is adjust and hit OK let's now create the D shaped hole here I'm gonna hit C to grab our circle and select this bottom face so left click and I'm gonna to go to top view I'm gonna drop our center point at our origin so left click now the diameter for this one is 15 hitting enter next I'm gonna hit L grabbing our line tool left click here and left click here hitting escape so make sure your line is vertically constrained next I'm gonna hit D to grab our dimension selecting our center point and this vertical line I'm gonna drop our dimension here I'm gonna key in 6 hitting enter and hitting escape I'm gonna hit T to grab our trim tool and trim this portion left click hitting escape and inspecting so this is now fully constrained I can now hit E for extrude and select this profile left click going to home view and grabbing our arrow up creating a cut operation now for the extents I'm gonna select all operation cut and hit OK and from here we can now hit F to grab our fillet I'm gonna go to top view select this edge this edge this edge this edge and going back to bottom view selecting this edge this edge this edge this edge this one this one this one this one selecting this edge as well this edge this edge this edge rotating and selecting this edge this one this edge this edge now for the value I'm gonna key in 5 and inspecting once more so model looking good I'm gonna hit OK and from here you can now render this model and congratulations for completing the October monthly challenge awesome